Well guys, this is Don't Act Like Me with an updated tutorial on my plugin private chat. Now if we look at a regular server message, it looks something like this. I mean obviously there's plugins for servers that makes the chat look all fancy, but it's something like that and we both can see it. Now what if I wanted to say something and have only a select group of people see it on the server? So what I could do is I could do slash channel create, and I can create a channel of any name that I want. We'll call it tutorial for the sake of this. All right, so I created a channel and I'm the channel owner. So if I say, this is my secret, Emmer 11 can no longer see what I'm saying. She cannot see my secret, nothing about my secret. But let's say I wanted to share this secret with Emmer 11 and I didn't want anybody else to see it on the server. I could do slash channel, oops, invite Emmer 11 Mitch, and now she can join my channel. So if she does slash channel join, uh, sorry, it's tutorial. I use a uh, test for all my <laughs> tutorials lately. So now she's in my channel, and if I say hi, we both can now see my chat. And if she says hi, she shows up as a regular member. But Emmer 11, she's been you know, a really good friend, and I think she deserves a position of authority in the channel. So if I do slash channel promote Emmer 11 Mitch, if she says hi now, she is now a channel mod and she can kick members in below from the channel. Now let's say I have a really important message that I need all the members of the channel to see. I could do slash channel send, this is a secret message and you know what let's have emmer 11 do the same thing slash channel send this is a secret message all right so now if i go to slash channel messages i can see the i'm sorry the channel tutorial as an inventory and our messages so that's don't act like me secret message and that's MR11 Mitch's secret message. So let's just exit that. Now let's have MR11 look at it. So slash channel messages. Let's have her click on don't act like me's message. Now MR11 is a mod. There's an option to delete the message, but because she's lower than don't act like me, she cannot delete the message. But if don't act like me went to delete his own message, He could, and if he went back into the channel messages, his message is now gone and Emmer 11's is there. Emmer 11 being the one that created the message to the channel can delete her own message. Oops. So if she clicks on this, delete, and now if we look at it again, it's all gone. So that's a nice little feature that's been added since then. So now, I'm the channel owner, but I want to keep my channel alive, but I don't want to be the leader of it. If you're a channel owner and you leave your own channel, the whole channel gets disbanded. But if I promote Emmer 11 again, I get demoted to mod and she gets promoted to owner. There's now also an ability to demote as well. So I'm channel mod. Okay, let's go back to Emmer 11's slash channel demote. Don't act like me. And if don't act like me says hi or E, sure, he'll say E. He's now a member. Don't act like me doesn't want to be in the channel anymore. He could type slash channel leave. And then Emmer 11 will invite him back. Channel invite. Alright, and slash channel joined, uh, is it tutorial, yep, and if I say test, test it, <laughs> I'm back in the channel, but MR11 could be upset with the things that I've been saying, and this is for mod and below, could kick me from the channel, but if MR11 now were to leave the channel, the whole channel would get disbanded, so... There we go. And another feature that's been added is the ability for you to create your own phone number. Actually, I forgot one thing, I'm sorry. So let's say Don't Act Like Me creates uh, 
a channel called Test. And I am server staff, and I want to see what's going on in that channel. First off, I don't know Don't Act Like Me's channel. So if I do slash channel check Don't Act Like Me, it says he's in the channel test. And then I could put slash channel spy test. Now, I can see everything that Don't Act Like Me says. If he says hi, I can see that. But notice that I'm in a regular channel. And I can also go into my own staff channel that's been pre-configured. If I say hi, I'm in staff channel and don't act like me can't see it. Now let's say don't act like me says something really bad. We'll just even type that out. I want to respond to that, but I'm not in his channel. What I could do is slash C test. Hey, don't do that bad thing. And that will go right into his channel. Everybody in his channel will see that message. So what if I decide, you know what, don't act like me spy and I don't want to spy on him anymore. I could do slash channel, unspy, don't act like me. Oh, sorry, channel unspy test. <laughs> yeah, the channel that he's in. Oh, I did channel spy. Oh my gosh, my typing. Unspy test. There we go. And now if don't act like me says hi, I can't see it anymore. Uh, so anyway, we'll have Don't Act Like Me leave that channel. And what I wanted to get into was the ability to create your own phone number. So if you type that. Oh, uh, I didn't delete the config, but it would uh, automatically give you a phone number. Let me see if she has a phone number. Check MR. Oh, no, just phone check or no phone equals. Sorry, equals forgetting my own commands. Okay, beautiful. She doesn't have a phone, so if I do slash phone create, Emmer11 has a phone number now that's 5990. Um, is she in staff channel? Test. Yes, she is, so slash channel leave. Okay, so if Emmer11's like, hey, my phone number's this, call me, I could do slash phone call and then her number, which is 5990. And now it's calling her. If you see on her screen, receiving call from Don't Act Like Me, I could do slash phone deny. The call's denied. If I do test, nothing happens, just in regular chat. Let's say that he calls again. All right. I could do slash phone answer. My phone's going off in the background. It's all right. Now if I say test, all right. So now we're in our own private call. And if this guy says test, nobody else can see this. Now, any of either of us can hang up. So we do slash phone leave and that will end the call test and test. Either of us could hang up on the call. So anyways, guys, that is pretty much all the features. There is one command uh, that I can't really show, but I'll just type it out like this just forget the period, but you could do slash phone spy. And then like, let's say I wanted to spy on MR11 Mitch, if she was in a phone call, that would allow me to spy just like the channel spy and I can see the call. So that would be really cool. And then you could do the slash phone on spy MR11 Mitch. And that would allow me to stop spying on their conversation. Also, uh, if you are spying on a conversation and they hang up, you automatically get unspied from them. Uh, actually, with that said, I want to show you guys the config real quick. I'm going to black out. Oh, no, I don't need to black it out. Awesome. I thought I was in a different directory. So if I go into private chat and I look at the config right here, there's a lot of things you can configure. You can configure all the messages and all the sounds that are sent to a player. Uh, just with the sounds, be careful because they come from the bucket sound doc, so they are extremely case sensitive. Usually they're all in caps. And maybe even try out the sounds on your own like single player world to see how they sound or whatever. Uh, but yeah, you can configure any of the sounds for like the phone calls, the creations of channels and phones, all that stuff. 
So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day guys. Peace.